Hey everybody, this is CP Roll 43 with a new update for you guys. So I've got a whole bunch of stuff to, to talk to you guys about. Uh, new things, uh, some things that I'd like to show you, and then just some things to talk about. It's uh, pretty much going to be a pretty uh, filled up update, but I'm trying to make it as short as possible. So I'm, be, I'm really sorry if I rush, and uh, just try and follow with me as I go on and get this update wrapped up as fast as possible. So um, a few weekends ago I went to the uh, Southern Alberta Model Railway Club uh, and uh, checked out their open house. Um, they had some free rolling stock which they give to the kids and uh, well uh, they had asked me because I had showed a pretty big interest in the model trains and they asked me if I wanted uh, a free car so I went, a went ahead looked uh, through the box they had and I found this car right here it's a model power uh, 50 foot coal hopper I um, think it's a 50 foot 50 foot I uh, could be wrong but uh, it's about the same length as my uh, uh, CP newspaper box car so um, I'm pretty much saying it's 50 foot it doesn't say anywhere about uh, length but um, I'm just saying it's 50 foot Anyways, I'm um, doing a little bit of work on it right now. Uh, currently, I'm uh, removing the box or the uh, coupler pockets from the uh, trucks and uh, putting on my last uh, set of uh, KD coupler pockets onto the car, gluing them on, and, uh, and then I'll show you the, the, my finished end on the car, which is right here. The screw I'm using, which fits really nicely into the uh, coupler pockets, are screws you can get out of uh, Atlas uh, manual switches and uh, those screws work really nicely with the cup with the pockets so um, that's what I use there I do this did the same thing with my Ontario Northland hopper so um, I find it works good for me and so cost me less money um, anyways so um, that's what I'm working on right now uh, I really like the car I hope to uh, do some more to it and uh, have it run around the layout I think it'll look really nice with my uh, Bachman Burlington Northern coal hopper so that'd be awesome and in other in the meantime I have been working on the GP9 more and I will zoom in to show you guys what I've been doing so um, currently I have the uh, all the grab irons finished and I also added another feature. Uh, it's a mock-up of a uh, sand filler hatch, uh, just scratch built from styrene. And uh, everything looks really nice to it and I had no trouble whatsoever uh, finishing the details on the front. And I did a little bit of work on the lights as well, which I've done reverse, there we go. So uh, as you can see there, um, I kind of toned down the light leakage or the uh, the light seeping through the uh, plastic, and uh, that was just by using a black permanent marker. I broke a bulb in the process, so these are the only two bulbs uh, that I have left uh, that are in the GP9. So I'm going to be really preserve preserving those uh, lights as much as possible. So until I can get some more. But other than that, it looks really nice and uh, really happy with how the front turned out. Possibly the best uh, front end of a locomotive that I've done uh, so far. So really happy with myself. Alright, so I'm going to remove the GP9 because I'm finished there. And take out my magical staple. And uh, bring in the uh, ES44. I guess you guys haven't really seen some of these uh, nicer pieces of rolling stock that I have. And... So, well, on my new camera anyways, so I want to show you guys those. Um, I've also done a little bit of work on the ES44 anyways, so um, that's why I'm doing it. So, uh, as you can see here, it's really nicely detailed, and uh, I did some weathering on the uh, grills and on the latch right below the uh, handrail here. I still have to do a little bit more weathering, but there's not really a whole lot to weather. I really like to keep the unit looking as pretty much as out of box as possible so I'm not going to weather it really any any much other than uh, the uh, vents so the rest of the unit's black so uh, pretty much does the job for me so <laughs> um, but you get to see some of the detail here as it goes by I really like the lighting of it you can see the number board light up there it looks really nice and I'll just let it go by a little bit slowly here I will show you some of the detail 
on the uh, back of the unit uh, because the labeling is just amazing and uh, I'll show you guys that right here so you can see all that labeling there it's just absolutely amazing amount of detail so um, I'm really happy with this locomotive I think Intermountain did a bang on job so really happy with it so now I'll move it ahead and show you guys some of the rolling stock that I have connected to it this is um, my best rolling stock uh, on my layout there's this uh, Bachman, it's a Bachman uh, styled, uh, Bachman Silver Series styled, but I think it's it came out of a Trains Canada box. I can't exactly remember. Um, but uh, as you can see over here, uh, this is the grab irons there. I still have to do the rest of the car, but uh, I weathered the car a while back, and uh, as you can see here, that weathering looks really nice, uh, brushed on, and uh, so. I really like the results that I got from it. Really worn out. So now here's the uh, best car that I have on my layout. This is the Intermountain. Uh, I think it's the National uh, Green Car or something. I can't remember. Uh, but it's a Hawker Sidley built Alberta Hopper. It's a Take an Alberta Break uh, Visit County of Red Deer ALNX 396 101. And it's a very, very nice car. I'm really happy uh, with these. And I really look forward to possibly getting another car at some point. But yeah, just absolutely love it. Very nicely detailed. Grab irons, uh, see-through walks and everything. Just fantastic car. See if I can focus on a little bit more. But uh, that's pretty nice. And I will move the train ahead. And you can see right at the back here, look at all the detail. Uh, right there just outstanding amounts of detail um, so very very cool if you can get one of these cars get it or even get one of the Saskatchewan hoppers as well um, just absolutely incredible and here's the final car on the uh, train it's the Soline Sioux Line hopper uh, Atherin RTR I guess um, it is uh, oh geez Losing what I'm uh, trying to say here, um, it, it, I got it from my uh, bud in a uh, medicine hat and it turned out really nice. I did the weathering on it, finished it, and it's ready to be used on the layout. Metal wheels, uh, knuckle couplers, and everything like that. So it's pretty much finished. I've got nothing else really to do on it. So uh, I think it'll turn out quite nice. I would like to rust the trucks up and uh, still have, haven't done that yet, but uh, at some point I will. So now I'll back the train and uh, talk to you guys about my final subject, which is on the new uh, Railfan 5 challenge. And I will talk to you guys about that right now. So um, the Railfan 5 challenge was uh, made up as an idea, uh, as a Railfan version of the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge, which is world famous. And um, it was uh, made up as an idea from uh, the publisher of the uh, Canadian Rail Fan blog, Trackside Treasure. And uh, I couldn't really help myself after watching uh, B YouTuber BA Rail Systems' um, recent video on his Rail Fan 5, so I couldn't help myself. I went right to uh, the uh, original blog post on Trackside Treasure, found what the details were, and I decided to do a blog for my Rail Fan 5. And I will have the description to my Rail Fan 5 with. And my Rail Fan 5 will have the five photos, and I will also challenge some people because that's what you can do. Um, it's, like I said, Rail Fan version of the ALS by Ice Bucket Challenge, except you don't throw ice on yourself. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I really look forward to uh, for you guys to be see, to see my uh, blog post. I haven't been using my blog a whole lot, but I've been trying to think of a few ideas to uh, do, and um, hopefully I will get back into it. Um, but in the meantime, yeah, check out my uh, Railfan 5 uh, blog post I put in the description, and I uh, hope you enjoy. And watch for your name, because I might have challenged you. <laughs> but anyways, that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, this is CP Roll 43 and good luck.